morning. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. amen. God wants us to see a brand new day, a day that no man has ever seen. Amen. 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 I know when God been good to me, I know He's been good to each and every one of you. Amen. amen. So let's give God the best praise we can this morning. Amen. 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 Why don't you? Matthew. 
that God bless the reader, listen, and the door of his holy divine word. Amen. Amen. Amen.
I know you come to give God the best praise you got. You've been running with Jesus a long time, and I know you ain't mad yet. I know you. And for those of you all that are streaming live with us, we are the New Bethlehem Wednesday Baptist Church of Gary and Ann. We're located at 2325 West on 21st Avenue, where I'm the little pastor is New Bethlehem OBC Lights. Amen. And we at New Bethlehem believe in giving God the best praise that we have. Now, the month of February is love month. So we're going to try to keep things around love because we need to we need to love on each other. Amen. Hallelujah. I love to pray. Yeah. I love. I love to pray. Yeah. Oh 
can't take you this week. Didn't wake you up this morning. Where you in your right mind? Was that full of your team? Did you have the activities of your thing? Go to the to give God some praise.
doctors and nurses and thank God for all of you. We thank God for all of our ministers here. Hey, my God is good. Somebody ought to shout he's good all the time. Grateful. 
gratefulness. And I just believe that the song is letting you know that I'm grateful because I realize that everything I have, everything that I am, and everything I will be is because of God's goodness. I, I just came to tell somebody this morning that you can come down off of your, your ledge and think you are all that in a bag of chips. It's not your good credit. And so David is a man. 
God delivered David from Israel's enemy. God delivered David from Absalom. So the first thing I want you to see this morning is David's commitment. Somebody said David's commitment. David's commitment is right there in the text. If you have not closed your Bible, if you have not torn it out, the Bible said that David sang this song. When the Lord rescued him from the power of all his enemies, including Saul, he said, I love you. Mm. I love you, Lord, my source of strength. Uh, the Passion Translation, the TPT Translation says, I love you, Yahweh, and I'm bonded to you, my strength. I like that version because uh, when I looked at Sister Betty, the word bonded, it means to join securely to another something, uh, to another thing. Uh, and so what David is saying, uh, I love you because guess what? Uh, I have connected myself to you. Uh, is there anybody in the room today uh, that know you have survived uh, all that you go through uh, because of you was connected to God? Uh, God brought you through. Uh, is there anybody today uh, that have a stronger relationship uh, because you found out uh, when you were going through? Uh, not only was God the only one there, uh, but you found out that God uh, was the only thing you needed. No, who I'm talking to? One of my favorite things about God is that He's faithful. Amen. Anybody in the room know God's faithful? Amen. Have you not been there for you all the time? Y'all holler at me in here. Y'all too quiet for me. So I just preach to me. Ah, He is faithful. That's why 2 Timothy 2 and 13 says, If we are faithless, watch this, He remains faithful. For he cannot deny himself. So in other words, God is faithful. Even when our faith gets shaken. Even when problems come in our life. And we begin to start doubting if we're going to make it. Our God is still faithful. God is the one who, who's going to bring you through your trouble. God is the one who, who's going to bring you over your bridge. God is the one who, who's going to bring you through trouble water. God is the one who, who's going to provide all you need. Is there any
That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. Safe in his arms. Anybody in here glad that you know what the arms of God feel like on your life? Anybody in the room today have been rocked by him? And in the late night hour when you were going through uh, your situation, God, uh, God, the arm of God showed up in your room uh, and rocked you in the cradle of his arm. Safe in his arm. Glad he shall hide me. Safe in his arm. The stronghold is a place that has been fortified so to protect against attacks. That's why Psalm 91 and 10 says, There shall no evil be, uh, befell thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy house, nigh thy dwelling. I came to tell you this morning, as long as God is your stronghold, you don't have to worry about the enemy. God will protect you. So he says in verse 2, my deliverer. God is my deliverer. God is my strength. Whom I would trust. He's my buckler, which means he's my shield. And the horn of my salvation. He's my high tower. David could not see God. Watch this. But God, but David saw how God gave him help. Yeah. This is why the seasoned saint would say, he's bread yeah. when you're home. Yeah. We, we know he's not literally bread, but we understand that oh, when I'm hungry, God has a way yeah. of providing. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. oh, God. That, that, that's why the seasoned saint would say, he's a breeze. Over trouble water. Yeah, yeah. They understand that when things are bad, God is the one that's gonna get you. Yeah, amen. 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 They would say he's mine in my pocket. Yeah. He's water yeah. when I'm thirsty. Yeah. They're not saying he's literally money, but they understand that my God shall supply. Oh God, all oh, my needs according to his riches and glory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And a seed must 
must be broken in order to grow. And God is turning your pain into your promise. So I came to tell somebody this morning that you got to trust the process. Because he says, I know the plan that I have toward thee. Plans of peace and not of evil. To bring you to an expected and expected end. And so I came this morning because not only was David committed, not only out of his commitment did he have confidence in God, but I came to tell you that David, the third thing, David has a concert. Because when you've been committed, when you have confidence in who God is, you can open up your mouth and tell the goodness of the Lord. Is there anybody in the room today that know the Lord is good and is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same? Somebody hold you. 
how good God really is. You can't help but to open up your mouth. Y'all better help me in here. Too many of us come to church and just sit here. We don't open our mouth. We don't say nothing. We don't wave our hand. We don't do nothing. But I've come to tell you this morning. That if you got breath in your body, the Bible said, let everything that have breath praise you the Lord. I don't need you to praise him for me, but I'm just asking you to praise him with me. Because I'm going to give him praise regardless. Somebody was right and he said, you don't know my story. All the things that I've been through. Yes. You can't feel my pain. What I struggled through to get here. Yes. You don't even understand my praise. Yes. And don't try to figure it out. Yes. Somebody ought to shout, but my worship yes. is for real. Yes. Any real worshipers in here this morning? Yes. Come on, put your hands together.
He's worthy to be praised even if he doesn't do anything else. He's already done enough. That's enough to open up your mouth and praise him right there. Amen. Come on, we get ready to go into our communion. Get ready to our God.
that's what we're drinking on. So as often as we eat this bread and drink in this cup, we do show the Lord's death till he comes again. Let us eat and drink together.
Father, we don't give out of need, out of want, but God, we give out of abundance. Because that's the kind of people we are, God. We are abundantly blessed. Father, we realize who we serve. The Bible said the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And they that dwell therein, the cattle on the hill belongs to you. Father, the hill belongs to you. And so God, we thank you this morning. Father, we thank you for the opportunity, God, because you said you bless and you forgive us. And so God, today we just want to sow back into your ministry. Now God, we ask God we leave this place but never from your presence. Go with the stand by us, lead us, and guide us. Keep us safe, God. Protect us, God. And continue to order our steps. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And we all say amen. Amen and amen again. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it.